Hello me bitches. Uh, Matthew Williams here, bringing you a video to talk about some of the things that I get up to on my computer. Uh, so, in addition to listening to music, such as uh, Ronnie Reeb, Darkface, which is quite interesting, dark techno, um, I'll be editing emails and I'll be um, video editing. And also, um, somebody gave me a Macintosh today. Ugh, I hate to say it again. Another fucking Macintosh. Right? Which, uh, yet again, broke. You know, it's like booted it up and just goes black screen and turns off. And it's like, oh, I thought Macs never go wrong. Macs never go wrong. And you can't find out why that happens. Uh, nobody can actually tell you why that is the case. But it should go black screen and go off. But this then means it needed the operating system reinstalled. And guess what? The guy had given it to no less than two Apple people, two, right? Not just one, but two Apple people who had said, no, you can't do anything with it, mate. It's fucked. Uh, yeah, you'll just have to, have to, you know, get rid of it. And it's like, then they give it to me, a PC user and a little bit of a PC expert. And guess what? PC expert knows more about Mac than Apple users. Great. And these people were supposed to be, you know, capable of fixing Macs as well. So, uh, yes, yet again, yet again, have I been called in and fixed the fucking apples. So, um, of course, you can't do very much with them um, in terms of uh, it's a Mac, so I can't connect its hard drive to the PC to copy the files off. And I don't own any Macs. So what do you do in a situation like this? Well, you do this. You download a Mac operating system disk and then you run a program called Oracle Virtual Machine or Virtual Box. Oracle Virtual Box. And it allows you to run a computer within a computer. So you've kind of like got a screen on your screen and you can install Linux onto it and run this as a little window in the corner. And in this case, instead of running Linux, I ran Mac and I installed a Mac onto my Windows 7 PC, inside Windows 7. So I've actually got a little Mac running inside Windows, and here it is. And for anyone who doesn't believe that this really is a Mac, it's actually copying files to a USB stick that I've got down there, which I've formatted as Mac, because of course I've got to transfer this person's files now. Uh, I've transferred them off his Mac using this, connected the hard drive into a USB caddy, plugged it in, got the files off onto this Macintosh thing, and now I'm transferring, I put his hard drive back in, formatted the hard drive, and now I'm going to copy his files back onto his Mac, but they have to be done in the HFS format. So, um, anyone who doesn't believe that this is really a, a Macintosh running on Windows 7, here we are, I'm in Windows 7, maybe a little bit jerky because I'm doing several things at once, including recording here, um, but let's call up Safari, and let's get on the net. Boing, boing, boing. Yes, we are loading Safari. Isn't it wonderful? Might make the video go jerky, I don't know, because it's using this, I think it's recording to the same hard drive as the, the Macintosh file for for the Macintosh is. So, um, I don't know, let's type in Circle Makers TV. A little bit laggy because of all the stuff that I'm doing at the moment. Oh look, there we are. I'm using Shitfari, I mean Safari, to uh, get onto Google. So that's Safari and you know most of the other programs work but it won't do you know video editing and things like that because it would need to use the specific graphics card that Macs are designed for. I don't know, maybe it would, but it probably wouldn't be very good. Um, so you know things like iTunes are on here. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's banging away, copying files from that hard drive. It's also got the Mac operating system on the same hard drive as the files it's copying onto the USB stick. And I am recording high definition video and my webcam onto the same hard drive. You really shouldn't try and hammer a hard drive that much, but it seems to be working. Look, iTunes is up there. 
um, fucking scourge of the, the universe, fucking iTunes, that really, really crappily designed fucking music player that takes fucking ages to come up and is really boring to look at. And, you know, you are genius. I am a genius. Genius makes playlists. I am a genius. Apple users are geniuses. That's why they use Apple, because they don't know what they're doing. Apple geniuses. Uh, Apple call its latest operating system Mavericks because they ran out of cats. You know, they ran out of cats to fucking use, so they call it Mavericks because they're getting to 10.9 now, so they're just about to get out of the tens. So they had to come up with something new, and they thought cats had, you know, sort of fucking had their day. So it became Mavericks. You know, like, like people who use apples are Mavericks. Right, whatever. Um, what else we got here? FaceTime, mail, don't want any of that crap. What's this? The de mission control on that fucking thing. Pathetic. Pathetic. You know, it's like fucking like Windows 8, isn't it? It's like they slide around the screen and have a look at what else we've got. Dashboard. Isn't this dashboard wonderful? Isn't it? It's like gadgets for Windows fucking Windows Vista. It's like bleh, a fucking crappy calculator, a weather thing. You know, and it's like, but you can only have them on this screen. You can't have them on the desktop. You've got to flick over to the fucking other screen to get them. You know, you can't actually have them on your desktop. Well done, Apple. Very good. Very good programming. Yes, you can have your own special screen that has your gadgets on. Can't have them on desktop. Not allowed. So, yeah, I don't like apples, but... It is quite handy to have this program here for if somebody gives you a file that comes on a Mac disk and you go, you fucking retard, didn't you format it as a fucking fat, fat 16 so everyone could read it? And they go, well, it's a disk, isn't it? And you go, yeah, that's right, yeah. And you think, right, well, I've got to get this fucking file off now. Well, use this. And you can actually download pre-configured images for VirtualBox. Um, so there's a really good one, and I will tell you what it's called now. Um, I shall tell you what it's called. Um, it's called, and you could look this up on all the best torrent sites you know about out there. Um, what the fuck's it called? It's called... Oh. Here we are. It's called Mac OS X Lion 10.7.3 Retail Virtual Box Image. So if you look that up and uh, find a torrent for it, download it because it will make your life very, very nice. Thank you. Good night.